Hey everyone, Kevin here from Stan's Roofing and Siding. I'm out here today to talk to you a little bit about some home maintenance uh, as far as gutter cleaning goes. So, even though uh, it's past winter now or getting out of winter, um, you can see this gutter still has leaves in it left over from last year. A lot of us get a little bit too busy and we, we neglect to clean our gutters. So, uh, some of the important things about your gutters uh, and downspouts is, excuse me while I swing the camera over here. Okay, so, you're going to see right here you have a, a downspout. You're going to see the reflection of a lot of things here, but you see your downspout here. So if this area right here is clogged with leaves, as you can see it is, it's going to plug that outlet for the downspout. And in the wintertime, that could cause an ice buildup in this situation, or it can in the spring and summer, it could lead to water overflow. So what's going to happen with that is the water is going to overflow, and it's going to come down here to the foundation area there go into a, a basement window well and that's going to seep into your basement or into your crawl space so that's not going to be good for your house and the health of your house so what we I recommend for you to do right either yourself because it is a pretty simple uh, home maintenance um, item you could do is just get up here uh, once or twice or three times a year clean out your gutters right just, just pick out the leaves drop them down okay now I'm going to recommend too if you're doing it yourself don't don't hold a bucket, okay? Right now I'm holding a camera, so that's not too safe either, but don't hold a bucket in one hand and then reach over and then drop the leaves into the bucket because then you really don't have a, la a hand on your ladder, okay? So you, you just wanna drop them down onto the ground like I've done a few times, right? Just drop them down and then just rake them up later and clean them up. Uh, another thing too, if you're gonna do it yourself, so ladder safety, okay? So I've been on a ladder since I've been 12 years old, so I've been on a ladder my, uh, almost my whole life. Uh, I'm very comfortable on here. As you can see, I'm leaning, I'm turning around and everything. You're not. You might be on a ladder once or twice a year only, so you got to have ladder safety. So you can see I got rungs above the gutter here, right, for more stability. I, even myself, always tie it off with a bungee cord. So I just wrap it around the gutter, wrap it around the ladder, and then uh, onto the other side of the gutter. So I know this ladder is not going to go anywhere. When you're cleaning the gutter yourself, too, is you don't want to overextend yourself, okay? So I'm gonna be cross-bodied here a little bit, but you don't want to be reaching way out over here. Because look, I'm I'm taking my center of gravity out over the out over my ladder, and if I lose my my center, I'm gonna fall. Okay, so you just want to stay right within your ladder, all right? So my shoulders are right here within the ladder. Take the leaves out and drop them straight down. Move the ladder 20, 30, 20 or 30 times uh, down a gutter a gutter length, okay? Do that to be safe. Every year. Uh, there are 500,000 ladder accidents. 300 of those resulted in death in 2016. So we probably all have families, loved ones. Don't be a stat, okay? Do it yourself. Be safe doing it. Or call a professional roofing company out or siding company that can do it safely. Um, very minimal cost is involved. And it could save you, one, your own health. And two, just good home maintenance. Get these unclogged here, so then it could properly drain down the downspout and not damage your uh, fascia or your, I'm sorry, your, your foundation or your crawl space. So, thank you very much for watching, and once again, if you're going to do this yourself, just make sure you're safe. Have a great day.